You still have the same pot. Why is it doing this? Just can't be safe. Just imagine that in your ear. You can hear it from ages away. Horrible. Hello everyone, I just wanted to make a quick video on the Baofang, Bufang, whatever it's called, UV5R. This happens to be the version 3, where I'm having issues when I'm plugging in different headphone accessories, whether that be the stock earpiece that comes with the unit or using third-party accessories. They all have the same problem, at least for me. I want to preface this by saying I understand this is a very cheap and budget-friendly radio, but... These are issues that I wish I was aware of before buying this model. And I've had two different radios with the exact same problem. So every time there's audio played from the radio, there's this horrible popping sound. You can hear those few little pops. Now I can deal with that when there's no headphone accessory plugged into this Kenwood K1 port over here on the side. But when you're using any sort of accessory and that accessory is close to your ear, it becomes extremely uncomfortable and you can't really use it, at least not safely, in, in my opinion. So to show an example, if I just turn this off, take the headphones, plug them in properly. And when I turn the radio on, you'll hear that same rhythmic popping sound. I don't know why, but it happens every time and it's repeatable. Every time. No matter how low or high the volume is. Minimum volume. Maximum volume. One more time. Now, that doesn't seem like much, but once you've got this plugged into your ear... That can be incredibly annoying, especially when you have different earphones that seal better or potentially headphones or anything like that. You can hear the keypad, but if I just press and hold, you will only hear the pop. There you go. One more time. Now, if I'm to switch to the other radio and other stock headset, you're going to have the exact same problem. Same thing. It's very, very strange. And when transmitting, I'll put that to the side. Put that over here. Turn it on first. If I transmit. Same popping sound. I'll even try a different set of headphones. Now this is the B-Tech push to talk adapter, which has had pretty good reviews on Amazon, to be honest, which is one of the reasons I bought it. And these are genuine Apple EarPods, the wired ones with the 3.5 mil jack. Now if I plug this in properly, these are out of the way. Plug this in properly. Now I'll repeat the same test. even worse I can even feel on the earphones how bad it is again we'll try receiving so you can see what's happening incredibly uncomfortable and just to be clear I've tried all sorts of combinations here I've done both radios I've done both stock earpieces that came with the UV5R in the box. I've tried, obviously, this. All the cables are properly plugged in. I've got another set over here. These are genuine Apple earpods. I've factory reset both radios, and again, the issue still happens. You can hear it from ages away. Horrible. Same thing on this side. Get rid of these. Imagine you've got that wedged in your ear and you're just having that going off all day. Can't be great.
Now, I looked on a few forum posts online. Apparently, there's a amp issue, a preamp issue, where it's effectively discharging, and that's the sound that comes through the AirPods or earpieces. To be honest, I don't really care why it's happening, how it's happening. And if you were in the market for a budget radio to do the job for you, again, whether you're paintballing, airsoft, go-karting, or whatever, you might want to steer clear of this one, because, again, I'm not having this going off in my ears constantly and messing up my hearing not worth it if anyone knows how to fix this issue which happens every single time i use the radios please let me know i'm not really interested in soldering any parts of the circuit board i've seen videos of people doing that i've seen people drilling into these kenwood plugs not really interested in doing that either but um yeah if anyone has any good ideas any simple fixes please let me know. Hopefully someone found this video useful and thanks for watching.